Hi everyone, it's Donald from Not Space One Paper Crafts and I'm back with another card tutorial today for you. Um, I decided that I wanted to do a pop-up card with little or no measuring. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I've got my card base ready and my insert. Now my insert is um, cut at about half an inch um, smaller all around than my card base so it fits in to the center of the card and that's going to be the pop-up mechanism. So I'm going to start by um, creating a space background on the insert and my front panel and I'm using some distress inks and um, the colors that I've used are picked raspberry, wild honey, twisted citron, peacock feathers and dusty concord to start with. It does look a bit of a mess but all you've got to focus on is just getting the colour on there um, it does look worse before it looks better um, so I've just put the colours on there and then I'm going to darken the um, whole of the piece with chip sapphire which is really dark blue um, distressing and then once I've done the front panel I'm going to um, change over to some black soot distressing and then I'm going to go over all of that again and it really sort of darkens it up and tones down all those bright colours that we um, used at the beginning. So I'm going to put some water droplets on um, as you know the distress inks react really well with water and um, I've picked up those drops using a bit of kitchen towel. I wanted a bit of shimmer in the background so I've used, um, I've got um, a Ducrafts RT spray um, and I've put some onto an acrylic brock and sprayed that but it didn't give me the look I was after so I put some white acrylic block onto a paint, um, white acrylic paint onto my block and just flick that through and as you can see it gives a much better sort of splatter. So I'm going to, um, after cleaning up the air, I'm just going to dry it a little bit with my heat tool to make sure it's dry. And then I'm going to start putting the card together. So I'm going to get my card front and I'm going to attach it using art glitter glue with um, on my card base. On that front panel there is going to have the sentiment. So I've got my embossing buddy out which um, removes all the static and anything um, removes any residue that you might have in your hands or anything like that so I've just stamped the sentiment on there and I'm going to um, add some white um, fine detail embossing powder and just heat that set with my heat tool and then once I've done that I'm just going to wipe off any excess powder that's on there and then I'm going to attach that to the front of my card again using the art glitter glue. So once that's attached on I'm going to look through some of the images from the stamp set that I've coloured in and the stamp set I've used is a My Favourite thing stamp set called Space Explorer and um, I've coloured those in with my Zig Clean Colour Real Brush Markers and I've put some um, glossy accents over the front so it looks like a, um, a bit of a visor on the spaceman suit there. So I'm just attaching these little bits to the front of the card and then I'm going to pop that little spaceman up on some dimensional um, pads. Looks so much better when they're popped up I think. I'm not going to um, make you sit and watch me take all the uh, backers off these. <laughs> so I'm going to um, remove the backers and stick him on the front and that's the front of the card somewhat finished I do add a few more things at the end now for the pop-up section all I did really I didn't do any measuring I just used the metal end of my um, Tim Holtz ruler and I just put some cuts in the um, base the insert base um, the first one I did, um, you'll see in a minute, it was really too long and it came out too far. Um, I wasn't really happy about that. But, you know, I make mistakes so you don't have to. So if you just keep an eye on how much you're sort of cutting up, um, 
then you'll be able to get a better idea obviously of, of how you want your things positioned or the things you are popping up on the inside so I'm just sticking in that pop-up section as you can see that one on the right hand side is quite big um, to do it again I would definitely make it smaller so I'm just adding in the rest of the little details from um, the images I stamped and coloured so I'm going to add in the little planets there and um, another one or two I think and then I put a little rocket in there as well and then I had a few little planets left so I decided that I would add those to the front of the card so that's the card for today I hope you all enjoy it uh, enjoyed watching it and I really hope you do recreate it if you do I'd love to see it or um, anything that you're making please feel free to add yourself or request to be added to our Facebook page the link for which I will leave in the description bar below and I'll also leave my email should you need to get in touch with me about anything so thanks so much guys for watching and um, you'll see this better in photos at the end take care guys bye for now